Welcome to Paramania. In this guide, we will be going over how to set up and calibrate your Konami Para Para Paradise controller in XD Paramania, powered by Project Outfox. This guide shows setup and calibration steps using the following software versions and operating system. However, as new versions of these programs are released, this process should remain relatively unchanged. Please note that at this time, simultaneous use of more than one Para Para Paradise controller is not supported. Additionally, the controller may not function as intended or may not be recognized by computers that are not running Microsoft Windows. Let's begin. Lay out your controller in a roughly 1 meter or 3 foot 3 inch half circle. To achieve ideal controller placement, use either the paper layout guide originally included with the controller or the printable replacement guide available on the Paramania website. After laying out your controller, stand in the middle of the half circle and fully extend your arms. Then turn in a full circle to make sure that your play area is free of any obstructions. With your controller laid out and your play area prepared, plug the USB connector from your controller into an available USB port on your computer. Make sure to plug the controller in before you launch the game. Connecting your controller after the game starts may prevent the controller from being recognized or from functioning properly. After connecting your controller, launch the game and wait for it to load. Once the game has loaded, press the Enter key to go to the title screen. From the main menu, select the Options entry. From the Options menu, select the entry for Input Options. Next, select the Test Input entry. The Test Input screen is where you will calibrate your controller. Controller calibration should be performed before playing each time you move your controller placement or whenever you remove the controller from storage. Start by making sure that the game has detected your controller. Near the top of the screen, look for the words Para Para Paradise Controller Joy 1. If this phrase is not present, close the program, reinsert the USB connector or insert it into a different port, and restart the program. Then return to the test input screen. To begin calibrating your controller, start by locating the calibration wheel on the side of each of the five sensor pods of your controller. Turn the calibration wheel on each sensor pod to its rightmost position, turning the wheel counterclockwise. As you make these adjustments, you will notice the name of each sensor appear on the screen. Joy 1, Button 1, Joy 1, Button 2, and so on through Joy 1, Button 5. Once all five sensors appear on screen, each sensor has been set to its highest sensitivity and will effectively be activated by your ceiling. Since having the sensors permanently activated will make gameplay impossible, you will now need to reduce the sensitivity of each sensor until it is properly calibrated. To do so, one sensor at a time, slowly turn the calibration wheel in a clockwise direction or to the left. Make sure that nothing is obstructing the space above the sensor while you are making this adjustment. Each sensor is calibrated when its name disappears from the test input screen. Once a sensor's name has disappeared from the screen, give the calibration wheel one additional turn before calibrating the next sensor. After all five sensors have been calibrated, press and hold the escape key until you are returned to the input options menu. Now that your controller has been calibrated, you will need to direct the controller's inputs to the game controls. This process is known as key mapping or key binding. From the input options menu, Select the entry for Config Key Joy Mappings General, which will take you to the Map Controllers screen. Use your arrow keys to scroll down the list until you reach the line for Left, subtitled Menu Left, near the bottom of the page. Press the Enter key, then place your hand above the leftmost sensor of your controller. If successful, you should hear a sound and the name of the corresponding sensor, for example, Joy 1, Button 5 should appear on the current line. Repeat this process for each sensor, mapping each one to the corresponding entries for up left, up, up right, and right. Once you have mapped all five sensors, you may optionally map the four physical hardware buttons located on the middle sensor pod of your controller. 
The left arrow button should be mapped to Menu Left near the top of the controls list. The right arrow button should be mapped to the Menu Right option. The Start button should be mapped to Start. And the Select button can be mapped to either Back or Select depending on your preference. After all of the buttons have been mapped, save these settings by selecting the Save to Disk option at the bottom of the screen, then select Exit. If these options are obscured as seen here, you may alternately press the Escape key and the game will prompt you to save settings before exiting. Select Yes, which will save your key mappings and return you to the main options menu. You should test that all of the controls are working as expected. Return to the test input screen by selecting the input options entry. Then on the following screen, select test input. With the test input screen loaded, test your controller by waving your hand above each sensor. As your hand passes above the sensor, you will see its name, along with the name of its assigned game control, appear on screen. An arrow will also be displayed in the on-screen controller layout as each sensor is activated. If you have chosen to map them, you may also test the controller's hardware buttons from this screen. Congratulations! You have now set up and calibrated your Para Para Paradise controller in Paramania. Exit the options menu, start the game, and you should now be ready to play. Thank you and enjoy!